Hi, my name is Ken Erickson, head softball coach at the University of South Florida and also an assistant coach with the United States national team. Short training bats have been around for a long time, but the radial bat has now come up with a system that makes you feel like you're really throwing the bat into the ball. There's uh, lengths of 25 uh, inches in lengths of 22 inches in lengths of 20 inches. For our collegiate players and national team players, we utilize the 25 length to get to a lot of drill work. We also use the 20 length and the 22 length for one-handed drill work. This training bat, I believe, will help you feel what's really necessary to be able to get the bat into the ball without utilizing the extra body movement. The drills we're going to talk about today, the thoughts we're going to talk about today, are going to show you why this training bat is the best out on the market right now. The first set of drills that we do are one-handed drills, or front arm drills, with the 20-inch length bat. We do this for control. Because we really, when we get to contact, we want to kind of be palm up and palm down, okay? With your lead arm being palm down and your back arm being palm up and making sure that we're able to get on plane. But to make sure that the front arm is really the leader, the fast speed part of our, of our approach to hitting, okay? And this is the drill that we looked at right now. Carmelo is just going to try to get to contact and not pass. Really good position if you hold it there. We're seeing that our potential for power is still there. We don't want to be rolled over. Okay, we want to stay within this point, so we're really focusing on the short part of just being able to get the bat head to the hitting zone, but with our front arm really being the stress right here. You notice the movement in the lower part of the body, very subtle. Okay, there's no overspinning of the back foot, because if the back foot does overspin, watch what happens to the body. You're getting away from the swing area. Take a look at it from this angle, go ahead and get the contact. You're right inside the ball with your hand, and the short training bat keeps you inside. Okay, but if you were to over-rotate the back foot, you're gonna be taking away from the hitting zone. If you over-rotate the lower part of your body, the upper part gets over-rotated, you get away from the outside part of the point. Stay inside and everything is under control. That's our first drill that we do.